Hi guys, welcome to the channel. So uh, today we're going to do a video on cleaning a mud bike mic chain. As I'm all new to this, uh, I've had to invest in a couple of bits. So obviously I've got my cleaning kit. Uh, I've just got this off of uh, one of the online sites. So it's just a, a chain clean and uh, a lubricant, and they come with the ideal brush for the uh, for the cleaning process. Um, but I did invest in this as well, um, so I can lift the bike up and uh, turn the wheel and it just makes it a bit easier to do. So, um, first step I guess is to get the bike jacked up and get it ready. Okay guys, so this is for people that have never used one of these before. Um, I'm quite new to motorbikes and stuff, so uh, this is how you use one of these. So you're just literally going to get these pads each side so you line it up there is a little bit of adjustment you've got these bars you can undo and sort of slide it in and out um, it should be more or less preset for my bike because I've had it up before so it's going to be jacking from underneath here because you've got a major flat there so uh, and it's obviously both the same both the same each side so um, I may have to jiggle it, it's going to be a two hand job, so basically I'll show you when it's done that these pads will be underneath there. So, in this position I've literally got the uh, pads underneath them bars, this, and it's going to lift it up. So yeah, I've got enough clearance, because uh, this does have 19 inch wheels on it, um, but as you can see I can spin it round, so it's going to be perfect for cleaning that nasty chain. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the chain clean. Um, literally, get a just turn the wheel, give it a good spray. I know they do do foam ones, which might be a bit better because obviously it gets right in there. Um, obviously you should be careful of your tyre, uh, as you can see, I'm spraying my tyre out with that, so uh, be careful, make sure you clean your tyre afterwards and dry it off, uh, you don't want to be skating off the road, um, so I could have put cardboard down there I suppose just to protect that, but, or if not just spray in a different location, um, near and near, but wherever you spray afterwards you'll probably want to just dry it off and make sure it's okay. Um, yeah, because wherever you go, well, it is a cleaning agent, just be aware of that. Okay. So, next off, get the brush out, and uh, literally just go from side to side on the chain, give it a good scrub. Come up from underneath as well because otherwise you're not going to get that inside done. You want to be super. That's probably the best way to do it because you can tell by the shape that's going to uh, get all round then. Obviously, this is for the newbies like me, so uh, guys that have been done it, doing it for ages, probably would have done tyre protection first. Looking better already, but mine have been left standing for five weeks, um, and it did rain quite a lot. And the humidity out here in Spain is quite bad, so give it a good old clean. Still might be worth going across the top. Even sounding bad already, actually. Um, yeah, uh, you might want a bit 
cardboard underneath. I'm on tiles, so I can obviously clean it easily afterwards anyway. Um, but it's looking much better. I can't see too much on it. Um, but I'm going to get a microfiber cloth now and just wipe off the chain so that when I lube it, it's not a good cleaning agent and lube on it at the same time. So let's get a cloth. Okay, so I've got an old sock. <laughs> Probably uh, slightly better than some other cloths because you don't want tissue or anything on it. Otherwise it's just gonna uh, get loads of bits everywhere. So. So obviously go all the way around and then you can uh, lube up afterwards. Looks like I've got another job to do with the tiles afterwards. And obviously that tyre where I sprayed it earlier looks like it's dried in. I mean I've got to give the bike a bit of a clean anyway, so before I go on the road, have it all nice. Alright. Um, yeah, checking my chain afterwards, it's probably still okay. Didn't tighten it up too long ago. So, um, obviously, you've got your, your little illustration there, then the amount of tolerance that it should be going up and down. You can check. Um, there is different gauges and stuff. Yeah. Uh, you can do that. That's another one to check. That'll be another video, obviously. Uh, a bit later down the line. Okay, here we go. Lube her up now. Uh, let's give it a spray. It's more like a cleaning agent, this one. Chain lube. Right, okay. Mind your wheels again. Obviously, I'm making a bit of a mess, but I suppose it is difficult on where it goes. You could go towards the back. I'm trying to go in the middle here, but it's a bit close to the tyre. So I've gone all the way around and I'm just going to make sure that tyres just wiped my lube on it, a little clean in the other areas where I've sprayed everywhere. But all the pros will be going, nah, you don't have to be doing that. Shouldn't be doing it like that. But as long as it's lubed and cleaned, I'm halfway there. I mean, that's all right in there anyway. I don't get hot, but. All lubed up. So, let's see how long that lasts. And uh, yeah, that's it. So obviously, that's how you do your chain and the best way to do it using this stand and the products that I've used, that I've got online. Um, worth a great deal of money. I think with these, these might've been 20 quid with a brush and the stand, I think I got that for about 25 quid. Um, so, uh, but they are, they are going to be needed and uh, it is a frequent occurrence if you want to maintain your bike so uh, thanks for watching the video please subscribe to the channel uh, and give us a like and a share if you want thanks a lot cheers